Hey guys, welcome back to Freak Motion. And in this After Effects tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a easy glitch animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. So without any further ado, let's jump into the After Effects, and let's get started. Let's create composition with full HD settings as usual. Give it a name you'll like, and make the duration 4 seconds. Now, bring your logo to the timeline. Then add fill effect to change the logo color. Adjust the size and align it to the center. After that pre-compose the logo layer, by doing this, you can change the logo anytime. Also make sure to check move all attributes. Now create another composition with the same settings. Name it map. Let's create a solid layer here. Give it a name you like. Then search for gradient ramp effect, and apply it to the layer. After that, search for posterize effect, and apply it on the layer also. Change the level value to 10. Nice. Now go back to the main composition, and bring the map composition here. And place it under the logo composition. Then turn off the visibility of the map layer. Alright, now select the logo layer, and search for displacement map, and apply it on the layer. Then change these both values to 0. Also change the displacement map layer to map. Though our map is in horizontal way, so we need to apply keyframe on max vertical displacement. First change this value to a higher negative value, so the logo disappear completely. Then add a keyframe on max vertical displacement, then go forward to 1 second, and change its value to 0. After that it should look like this. Select the layer, and press U to see the applied keyframes. Select the keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Then open Graph Editor, make sure you are in Edit Speed Graph. And change the graph curve something like this. Now search for Directional Blur, and apply it on the layer. Go to the first frame and add a keyframe on blur length, then go forward to few frames, and increase the value a little bit, then to the last frame, and change it back to zero again. Select the keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Then open graph editor, and change the curve something like this. Perfect. Now pre-compose these two layers, and give it a name you like. Then search for shift channel effect, and apply it on the layer. Now full off the green and blue channel. Make two copies of this layer by pressing Ctrl plus D two times. Now for the second layer, full of the red channel, and turn on the green channel. 
and for the last layer, full of the red channel, and turn on the blue channel. Now select top 2 layer, and change their mode to screen. If you can't find this option here, just press F4, or toggle it from here. There is no effects right now. But if we just offset these top two layers by few frames, then we can see the effects. Cool, that looks good to me. For the background, create a solid layer, but make sure the background color is white. Then search for CC Starburst effect and apply it to the layer. Decrease the size and speed value. And it's done. If you want to change the logo, just open the logo composition and replace the logo. Just like this. Just try to make the size same as the previous one. And it's changed. Simple and easy. Just by changing few settings on the map composition, you can get different results. I leave that part for you guys. So think outside the box, and make something new. Alright, let's wrap it up for today. I will catch you guys in the next video. Till then stay safe, and keep exploring new things.